Hey there, this is a quick video to show you a deluxe stovetop water still I put together. Like my other one, but better. Instead of a foot and a half of copper, it's 11 feet. Actually, 11 and a half feet total. thing is just humming away. It's working awesome. No leaks. Everything's working great. Burner right now is on full blast. Most of the water in that kettle has gone already. It's all over here. And some in the air. It's working really good. Check that out. That water's filling up pretty fast. That didn't take very long. That was about an hour and a half. That's almost a quart in an hour and a half. Okay, this is your connector to the water source. Then you got the foot and a half of corrugated three quarter inch copper pipe. Connects down here, reduces to the half inch. And then this is a ten foot roll of half inch copper tubing. Alright, so this is the adapter I'm going to use. It's a three-quarter inch threaded to half inch. Alright, now let's go ahead and prepare this. Okay, I sanded that up a little bit. Now I'm just going to put some flux on here. that. All we got to do now is hit it with some solder. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and bend this into a tight spiral. Just kind of slowly work at it, don't force it. Okay, that's a good start, right about there. Now I'll see how much tighter I can get it. Here's just a quick shot to show you how this part goes together. You can use the stainless steel or the copper. Then hook up to there. Alright, here it is. We got the 10 feet connected to the foot and a half corrugated, and this connector goes over to the teapot or water source. That's almost 12 feet of coil total. Alright, there it is. A ton of clean distilled water. Again, a couple quick things to make it go even faster. Put some cold towels around the coil or even submerge that in water. Maybe tent a little bit of aluminum foil over the top to keep some of the steam in. Extend the copper tube down a little bit into the glass jar. And that's about it, because everything's tight. The seal stayed completely tight, tight the whole time. You can do it like where it just ends right here and put this right into the glass like I did in the first one. You still get a ton of water, but the more copper you add, the more time it has to condense down into liquid water. 
That's like two minutes of water right there. I'd say this one produces water about twice as fast as the original model. Both work good though.